its ecosystem. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look at the sentiment of the market today. How much fear is in the street and uh, how much are we buying? So remember, uh, I've been saying if we get down to about 30, 35 in fear, that would be a great time to buy. We currently got down to about 41 uh, today. So people are starting to panic a little bit, which is good for the long-term investors here. Um, and last week, right, we kind of were hovering around that mid zone. So now that we're finally dipping in sentiment, um, and, and, you know, usually, right, I, I waited a whole four year cycle before actually using the fear greed index on a regular basis in terms of giving it to you guys uh, as something that is actually useful because I wanted a whole cycle of data and it's pretty damn accurate. Of course, it's a lagging indicator, right? It's um, not necessarily uh, going to tell you what's happening next, um, but it is telling you um, kind of mm, gives you a little bit uh, of a data point to look at instead of just uh, feeling out the sentiment for yourself. But it feels like there's a lot of fear in the market, but, um, you know, we, we still have a little ways to go. I think, you know, something like that. Now, the one thing I will say is if the market doesn't try to basically hold the current area of support for Bitcoin over the next five days, essentially, um, then you probably get this going a lot lower than 30 and 35 in terms of fear, because if we got a sell signal, uh, this month and we get a cycle low at the beginning of July, but we don't continue, uh, price doesn't bounce to the upside um, any longer than July or back above 27,200. If that does not happen, um, then you're probably going to see fear come all the way down here to like 10, um, closer to August, September. Um, so uh, this middle part of June um, here, the next one week or the next five days is going to be massively important um, for kind of where the market goes over the next two to three months.